Hi everyone, welcome back to the Dahlia Society. I've got some fantastic new patterns to show you for the month of August. Grab a cuppa and let's get chatting. If you haven't tuned into my channel before, my name is Kristen. This is the Dally Society and we talk about all things to do with creating your own wardrobe, sewing, chit chat, fabric, and as I mentioned today, brand new patterns for August. Before I get started, if you haven't subscribed, I had a look at my analytics on my channel and there are so many of you that are watching every week and not subscribed. So if you could do me a huge favor and hit that subscribe button, and the notification bell, you will never miss out on any of my episodes. Today I'm wearing our lovely little cardigan here I made last year called the Nina from Style Life Patterns. It's one of my favorite little drapey waterfall style cardigans. I love wearing it. Uh, it's just got a lovely little bit of shaping to the back and that lovely drape at the front. So it's one of my faves. How pretty is that magnolia tree behind me? Every year in winter, it just comes out with the most beautiful, lantern style glorious pink flowers and i'm trying to make sure that i highlight these at winter blooms so you can see exactly what's in flower here in my garden for winter and behind me i've also got a beautiful flowering plum tree which i'll show you on the next episode but it really makes you think about spring times on the way here in australia and I know you guys in the Northern Hemisphere are starting to think about sewing your autumnal wardrobe. So I hope I've got a lot here to maybe inspire you for your next sewing season, whatever it may be. Firstly, for Wardrobe by Me, which is a great little pattern company, some wonderful patterns. Now it's a new to me pattern company. It's been around for a while, but I love their patterns, especially their brand new tunic style dress. It's called the Savannah shirt dress. I really love that Mandarin style collar and the fact that you can make it in a shirt dress or just a tunic to wear over jeans. You've got a wonderful little tie belt there as well, but I love the simplicity of this pattern and the fact that you can wear it open, maybe like a duster jacket as well. Size range is zero to 24 and don't forget to have a look at the there's a, a short pattern that's a free pattern over at wardrobe by me it's a unisex style free short pattern i'm sure a lot of you will find those really handy to download and maybe make yourself a pair up for what your warmer months the wind's picking up a little bit here there's some leaves rustling so i hope it's not interfering with the sound too much it's just so nice to get out while the sun's peeking out and get a little bit of uh sunshine it really does brighten up the mood how about the fantastic new pattern from Helen's Closet, the Sandpiper Swimsuit. Now, I love this pattern. How fantastic is it that she's got a size range from zero to size 34. It's a great little crop style um, bikini top and the pants you can make, or the swimsuit bottoms, you can make in either a higher um, waisted pair or a lower rise pair. So you really can sort of play around with whatever look works for you, what type of coverage you want. She's also stated that it can be a fantastic little active wear style top for wearing to the gym too. So really excited to see a lot of people making this swimsuit up and all the different variations on things like your swimsuit fabrics that you can make up as well. Helen's Closet, I think she's always ahead of the game there, always thinking of what we need in our wardrobe and what's practical. Um, yeah, I think there was a big gap there as far as swimsuit go so well done to her for bringing that pattern out i'm really excited because so to grow lindsay ray here in australia has got a brand new coatigan style jacket you can make it in either knits or woven it's called the kaya jacket lindsay ray was actually had at a sewing exhibition over the weekend and unfortunately um with the covid lockdown it actually uh cut that short she showed this beautiful little coat that's coming out i just think it's stunning and she just said that the practicality of having a knit jacket comfortable 
you don't have those fitting issues but you can also make it in a, a woven style woolen coating fabric as well if you want it more structured style but i love lindsay race patterns i just think they're absolutely beautiful and i think this could definitely be one that i will be wanting to make for some boil wool i've got ready in a stash there for a lovely little kind of coatigan jackety style i think they're really, really practical and things that i reach for whenever it's cool Lindsay is actually giving away a free PDF pattern of your choice if you spend over $50 in her shop uh, there'll be a free pattern of your choice and the actual code again is or the jacket is on special for the week end of the release uh, it'll be 20% off of that whole weekend so a great time to take advantage of a great new pattern to get a freebie PDF pattern of your choice. Next we have By Hand London, beautiful couture style sewing, lots of dress patterns there for you, special occasions. They've come out with the Liz dress size ranges two to 38. You get two very different looks from the one pattern. The dress you can either make in a midi length or a maxi length, and you can either put the frill around the waist or around the scoop neck. So I just love Elise Lex's company that by hand London have got the most exquisite dresses for any kind of special occasion. I've made the Alex dress before, I've made the Anna dress. And one thing I always love about their patterns is the detail about the fit how they beautifully they fit on the body um, yeah really lovely pattern company and so many gorgeous patterns coming out lately from them so well done to them the great thing about the Liz pattern is that you can change the look altogether with uh, depending on what fabric you use for example if you wanted to use something like a silk taffeta or a beautiful viscose that floaty kind of drape you'll give to the pattern if you're wanting to use like a, like a linen or a brushed cotton you can give it a bit more of a casual feel as well so lots to play with there for the Liz dress Chizuti have got a new coat pattern out, a lovely full length coat called the Richmond coat. It's a fully lined uh, version. A lot of their coats are made boil wool. This one in particular, you can make it any kind of uh, coating fabric, uh, maybe a wool or a melton. Uh, they've said things like boucle as well, or crepe would be wonderful. Uh, I think it's a lovely cozy style pattern. It's got that sort of drop shoulder. It's got the lapel. I think having that kind of tapered sleeve really gives it a different kind of look. Be fantastic with a pair of jeans. Lisa modeled a beautiful, uh, almost a fur looking uh, emerald green, stunning, stunning fabric. The birds love coming out for you guys. Every time I film, there's some galahs flying above me at the moment. They just love putting on a show. Yeah, but this coat is absolutely beautiful. I think you could do something really unique with your linings as well if you wanted to do that pop of interest and you wanted to make a plain coat really think about something to cozy up for the cooler months it's a great pattern size range in the richmond is 6 to 22. a brand new pattern just released this morning is the lion's jacket also from tazuti patterns it is a beautiful boiled wool crop style jacket and they've just pictured it in a button front like a press stud style front which i think is so practical it's almost a cross between a cardigan and a little cropped style jacket so perfect for uh, wools that won't fray especially things like boiled wool so I think size range for that one is a 6 to uh, 22 so I love all of their boiled wool jackets they are the go-to pattern shop for anything to do with boiled wool and felted wools too. A style like one of my favorite pattern companies of course I've got a style like cardigan on now but they've come out with a brand new wrap dress called the rigid wrap dress it's a really lovely statement sleeve this sleeve wow it is amazing it's a real feature. It's got a lovely little button across front. So it's kind of, it is a wrap dress, but not your traditional kind of wrap around. It's more of that, that sort of just enclosed front. Um, but the sleeves are a knockout on this dress. I think it's really, really pretty. Size range is four to 30 with Starlight patterns. You can either order paper patterns from Amazon. I know they do have that all from their website. Uh, or you can order a pdf pattern if you order a multi-size you can do that but you can also order a single size which gives you the size above and the size below so i normally order a pdf in a single size of a 14 and that way i can play with the size above and below if you want to do some grading um, but i love the patterns they always fit amazing um, some of their uh, drafting is just really unique and really different they do get a wonderful fit and you also get to choose from two free patterns of the month that they do give away when you buy a pattern. The patterns of the month for August, the top is a Florence top, a beautiful woven style top with a puff sleeve, 
I have got my eye on this. I love a good blouse pattern and also the cami style, either nighty or camisole. Now, Love Nations have come out with the Tempo Sun Dress. I love a good bra friendly strappy dress for the warmer months. That's one thing is a must have for me. If I can get a sun dress that I can wear my bra, I am a very happy lady. I love the fact that you've got that shearing across the back that you can use for helping with your fit. You want to do a nice fit on the bodice and the shearing is fantastic for getting for achieving that look. I love the fact that you can have the tiered skirt as well. So that's definitely one I'm thinking about making for summertime. I've loved seeing everyone's makes for this Love Nations pattern. So Tempo Sundress is a winner for me. P for P or Patterns for Pirates. It's one of the companies I started when I first started sewing. I found some of their pants to be fantastic. They've come out with a brand new paper bag style, either short skirt or pants pattern. So if you buy that one pattern, you get those three different looks in the pattern. So it's a gorgeous little uh, pair of pull-on, either pants or shorts. The skirt's nice too with that paper bag waist. It's got pocket detail if you wish to put that on there too. Now the size range is extra, extra small to five extra large in those two. Now the beautiful Jasmine from Sewing Patterns by Mason has come out with a beautiful little molly mock neck, either a sweater or short sleeve top. And she's uh, mentioned it's great made in more of a stable knit if you wanted to get that boxy style look with the little side splits, a really practical top there. Size range is from eight to 28. Another fantastic new release is from Tilly and the Buttons. It's the Sky sundress now I think they've got such a huge following when they do get a new pattern come out I've seen so many makes already and they are looking beautiful sky sundress is from sizes 6 to 34 you uh, do have the option of doing a little ties on the shoulders which I love that look as well and it's got a beautiful style uh, squared scoop neck with a lovely kind of empire waist teed skirt that's another really bra friendly sundress and i just think bring it on i am all for the bra friendly sundresses marcia style has come out with a, a lovely little pattern a collab she's done called the grace dress now this is a beautiful style kind of a bit of a vintage boho style um, dress there it's got a lovely either button um, a shoulder strap or a tie shoulder strap really pretty neckline you can do it in two different versions the first is a tiered skirt off the bodice or you can do it with the waist that you can bring in with a casing and a tie i love her lila dress it's beautiful i know she's got a gorgeous dress called the sear as well i'm planning to make in the future too i am such a sucker for any kind of boho style dress and i always get those visions of stevie nicks whenever i think about it and i know so la -di -da, uh, patterns have got the brand new stevie dress out it's a beautiful boho tiered dress that i think you guys are going to love to love their muse dress it's one that i've got in my mind when i do have a special occasion come up in the future that is the dress i want to make it's one of those ones i think i would love to perfect with a jacquard or something really really special so that's in my mind to make but this stevie dress i think is one i'll definitely wear right throughout those warmer months as well sinclair patterns have got some brand new patterns for the month as well they've got the naoka dress which is a gorgeous knit dress to make it either a top sleeveless dress or sleeve dress it's in a knit uh, jersey fabric you've got that gorgeous waist detail i think anything that highlights that lovely shaping around the middle in a knit dress is one of those perfect style dresses that you will love to wear for comfort reasons of course they've also come out with the clio knit shorts that you can make in either a collotte style or a short they've got a lovely um thick kind of waistband and they've also come out with the poppy pants so a lot of great new pants from sinclair patterns do have affiliates for those below and all the patterns i've mentioned here today are linked in the description box as well so plenty to keep you they back <laughs> Plenty to keep you busy for the month of August. Hopefully I've got a bit of a mix of cooler and warm warm weather things there as well. I'm already starting to think about my spring wardrobe. I've got a, quite a few things to show you. I've been a bit naughty again and got some fabric. I am going to split those into a couple of different videos. I know that you guys are really uh, waiting to see some fabric haul videos. I'm going to do a couple of those spread out because there is quite a bit to get through. I must remember to let you guys know I do have a Pinterest board with all the patterns that I have in my stash. I highly recommend that if you don't have a Pinterest account really think about uh, getting one of those because it's a great way if you're like me and you like to see the visual and to see what patterns you've got I find it much easier than just having it written down and I really forget the names of patterns after a while I think having that visual there allows you to kind of get that inspiration and see what you've got and you may surprise yourself with some uh, patterns that you've had in the stash for quite a while that you've forgotten about as well so I love 
having that there and yeah you can all go on uh, i'll link that below you can have a look on there if you'd like to see what patterns i do have in my stash too thanks for watching today if you've enjoyed this episode and you want to see more please don't forget to give it a thumbs up because that helps other people like you find my channel i think it's great to get the sewing community or looking at what's around for the indie patterns new releases are always very exciting especially when seasons start to change so let me know what your favorite pattern is of that group i'd love to hear or if you know any new patterns that i have missed coming up this month let me know in the comments below too so i will catch up with you very soon stay safe and keep sewing bye for now